Today we're going to be showing you one of the most interesting wonder kids in FM24. Not only does he start off with immense ability at the age of 17, in fact I would go as far as saying he's probably one of the best 17 year olds around in your save, but the thing that I find really strange is I have not heard him mentioned anywhere and I didn't even know who this guy was until about two days ago when I started prepping for this video. That's right, we are back with another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar to showcase what I think is one of the most underrated gems in Football Manager. Make sure you do stick with us in this video, I'll show you exactly how we take him from promising Wonder Kid into one of the world's best because he is actually natural in a few positions and it might not be immediately obvious where you should use him, so I'll try and help you with that. But before we get started, if you guys could continue to show your immense support for us here on the channel by smashing the like button and letting us know in the comments who you want to see in the series next. We'd massively appreciate it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Daily Football Manager content from Wonder Kids to Tactics to Tutorials, we've got it all. So make sure you hit that button. And with that being said, let's go and find this player. And we'll be heading over to France, a nation that's produced some of the world's best youngsters in recent years. But this one might be the pick of a bunch. The club we're going to is Stade Rennes. And in their ranks, you will find a youngster known as Matisse Lambord or Lamborda. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced as you can probably tell I'm not a native French speaker but this is a phenomenal talent and I'm going to explain to you exactly what you can do to turn him from exactly what he is a promising youngster into one of the world's best but let's start off with the basics price point you'll be looking at about nine to ten million this is with him on the highest potential in his potential range so for you guys you could get him for a little bit cheaper his range in game is 140 to 170 so worst case scenario you load up your save and he's a promising winger for the French divisions and if you get him on the highest end of that potential he is going to be one of the world's best players on that right flank or up front if that's where you choose to use him but more on that later. Now he has some very good attributes of a player of such a young age he isn't necessarily stand out in one particular area but technically he's already got 13 finishing 13 first touch and 12 dribbling good passing vision and technique too the crossing isn't the worst either but I would recommend you use him as a goal scorer whether that's up front or out wide as an inside forward. I wouldn't really be looking to use him as a winger or an inverted winger, at least not without focusing his training on that crossing attribute. But you can see he's already deadly when it comes to the physicals. He's maybe not the world's best there just yet. By the time he's 18 or 19, you'll see some huge growth in those areas of his game. So with that being said, you know all about him. Now let's move him to our Real Madrid team and show you what you can do to set him up for success. So first, tactically, you can see the role that I have chosen for him today and I'll explain why a little bit later but we are playing a very simple 4-3-3 Gagan press preset tactic no additional instructions the only thing I've done is move some player roles around to try and get the best out of our youngster here Lambord we've got a deep line forward in the hope that Lambord can link up with him and get into some goal scoring positions so you guys could definitely make a much better tactic and get better use out of your players than I have but I've just gone for a very basic preset tactic now in terms of mentoring we've got Luka Modric and Danny Carver how mentoring him that will hopefully help his personality and hidden attributes but he's already got 15 determination he's already classed as a fairly determined personality so at least in this save we're okay but I imagine for some of you guys that attribute might be randomized for the young Frenchman I didn't mention earlier but he is left footed so that is why I think you're either going to play him on the right or up front but as you might have noticed we chose that right hand flank position for him the reason I've gone for this is whilst he could be a very good striker I just see him more out wide with that left foot cutting in the fact that he's a pretty good passer with good teamwork as well work great too I feel like the wing is the best place for him he can take men on beat them with his dribbling ability then make use of his passing or his finishing whereas if he was really our lone striker up top he's maybe not got the physical prowess for it at the minute with the strength and the heading and you won't be getting the best out of his passing either so I think that's why I'd use him as an inside forward we're going for him on the attack duty make sure whatever role you choose you are training that though that'll get the best impact from your players training and then when it comes to additional focus you've got a few choices one if you want him to be a better crosser you could definitely work on that because that's one of the weakest sides of his wing game that he's going to need I wouldn't do anything to his physicals even though his strength is a bit low over time that is going to go up just naturally getting older as a player and his mentals are also pretty strong I think for me I would be working on his passing to try and get that a little bit higher than 12 but for you guys feel free to do what you want that's what I go for but for the sake of the simulation we're going to leave the additional focus blank as we do for every 
player. Now though, Matis is ready to go, so we're gonna simulate a few years to see how he might look on the lowest end of that potential range. And as you can imagine, because of those great attributes he starts with, he took to Real Madrid like a duck to water. And here he is at age 19 with about 144 current abilities. This is really close to the worst possible scenario you could get at full growth for Matis Lambord. So for your £9 million investment, worst case, you'll be looking at a player that looks something like this. With incredible ability all around, a direct threat to any defender. He's got great passing, vision and technique, great first touch, finishing and dribbling. He's worked on his physical action his strength has gone up, his long shots too, and in fact now, if you wanted to, now you could maybe make him an advance forward and you get some great results out of him. But we're going to keep him on the wing for the whole of this simulation. He's been doing really well there for us and you can see his attributes are developing really nicely. He's now a £50 million player with two goals for the under-21 French national team and for Real Madrid, he has been immense. Season 1, 9 goals, 9 assists. Season 2, 1 goal less but a bunch more assists with 14. Of course, he's only a young 19-year-old here. Here. so to be doing this well already is very impressive but now we're going to simulate a few years ahead to see how he might look in his prime. I still can't believe more people haven't spoken about this player unless I completely missed the boat. I genuinely had never heard of him before this video. But before I show you exactly how he looks in his prime, just to let you guys know, I do have my own channel, which you can find linked in the description of this video if you want to check that out once you're done watching this. Over there, we do more Football Manager content from five season rebuilds in the space of 25 minutes. Or if you like Wonder Kids, we also do YouTube shorts about Wonder Kids you might not have heard of. So hopefully there's something for everyone. But I've kept you waiting long enough let's check out how good he's become and here he is age 27 about 10 years on from where we originally started with pretty much all pros in his coach report only one con loved by the fans a very good performer consistently for us his mentals have came a massively long way with now 18 composure 16 off the ball work 16 decision making and the same for anticipation he can pass better than most midfielders he can score better than most strikers and he can go past people better than most wingers can he is such a complete player he's not a one-trick pony he's got everything in his locker even getting to the point where he's heading and his crossing the things we were worried about at the start have been worked on he's got 15 long shots as well and these great attributes have helped Real Madrid's new number nine absolutely smash it in the in-game engine since you last saw him he really kicked on with 12 goals and 20 assists in the season after one year ended up with 22 goals and 24 assists in only 35 league games didn't even play all 38 which is crazy crazy good a seven point 0.78 average match rating. Clearly, he's a very good player for the value that you're going to pay for him. But now let's check him out at the end of his career. And here he is now, age 34, with 56 France caps and 11 goals. A free agent having spent two years out in Saudi Arabia. But as you can see, he was just continually hitting really high average match ratings, loads of goals. Reminds me a bit of Mbappe, a bit of Henri too. That wide player that can also play up front. Uses his direct speed to beat people with good passing. Obviously, the dribbling has gone down quite a lot in the last few years now that he's older. But age 34, he still looks like a phenomenal player. Let's see if he won any awards. Strangely enough, he never never won a Ballon d'Or but did win two World Footballer of the Year awards which seems strange but he did win them once in 2032 and again in 2030 when he was 24 and 26 respectively. His attributes still look so good at age 34 and I really think if you haven't tried him give him a go. He's someone that I don't think is getting as much love as a lot of other players of his ability and like I say I think at age 17 he's probably got one of the best starting attribute sets out of anyone. There you go though I've been Jake for FM Scout this has been one the kid to superstar and this was Mattis Lombard.